It seems we're getting closer to a future in which taxis take off above the traffic and fly through the sky. This is Gimpo International Airport and in a few moments we're going to get to see a drone taxi take off, crucially with someone inside. You may recall late last year Seoul held a successful drone taxi demo in the city centre. This time we got to see an actual pilot on board. An important feature of the Gimpo test was showing how a flying taxi wouldn't get in the way of air traffic at what is a busy airport. This all requires some serious coordination between the transport authorities, drone manufacturers, telecommunications providers and so on. Airports will be where drone taxi services will first be rolled out in this country from 2025, transporting people back and forth from downtown Seoul to reduce travelling time from around an hour to 20 minutes. It seems Paris, Rome and Singapore might roll out air taxis first, but Zhang Yonggi, Deputy Director of the Drone Transport Division at the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport, told us this isn't a race. There is so much interest in this particular drone behind me. This is the one that's just been demonstrated for us. It was manufactured in Germany by Volocopter. It can fly for around 35 kilometers with its current battery technology. And as you can see, just two seats for now, but it is a start. We've seen an actual human being fly inside it. And that is why there is such a buzz here at Gimpo International Airport. Volocopter is working with the Korean authorities to enter this market. It's already made strides in Europe and in Singapore. And while it has a head start, having been founded a decade ago, Volocopter CEO Florian Reuter knows Korean companies will be among those joining the urban air mobility space, which will be worth a trillion dollars globally by 2040 and nine trillion by 2050, according to Morgan Stanley. I do expect, because the market opportunity is so vast over you know, many decades of growth that we are seeing, I mean, we're really just at the humble beginnings of a whole profound transformation of urban mobility to obviously attract a lot of you know, interest and many other players as well. Speaking of Korean companies before, Hanwha showed off a scaled down model of its five passenger drone at the Gimpo event, while Hyundai has unveiled plans to develop autonomous flying taxis with a targeted launch in 2028. Well, I've just been flying in a drone, not for real. This is the closest we can get for now, the VR experience. But it did give me a taste of being a few hundred meters above Seoul, above the Han River, flying from the city towards an airport. It still feels a bit like science fiction to me, but everything I'm seeing here today suggests it's coming to us in our very near future. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport told us the plan is to first roll out drone taxis with a pilot, then by 2030 remote control transport before a fully autonomous experience takes off in 2035.